Hey everyone, Viper Joel here. We're back for some more Resident Evil Revelations 2. And I know it's been a while. It's been like maybe a month, month and a half. But I can explain. <laughs> I mean, there's... Okay, I thought there would be some talking here. But um, the main reason why I have not been playing this game is because of the recording troubles. Apparently, well, I don't know if I should keep talking or not. Apparently, uh, when this game transitions between cutscenes or whatever, it fades to black, and my capture card keeps cutting off, thinking, "Oh." You must have reached the tower by now, right? I think so. What's this? It looks like a grave. Yes, a mausoleum. I think the tower is just above us. I hope we can still get the drop on her. Let's look for a way up. Okay, but like I was saying, apparently my. Uh, between games, uh, ah, excuse me, between cutscenes, the game fades to black, which makes my capture card think, hey, you're not recording anymore, and just automatically shuts off for no re What did I just do? I moved something. I'd like to know what I'm actually doing. <laughs> Am I about to die? Am I about to die? <laughs> but yeah, main reason I was not playing this game was because it's a pain to record. But I have a new capture card now. I am playing after Christmas, so happy holidays to everyone. Whatever you celebrate. Happy Christmahana Kwanzaa. <laughs> but yeah, I have an Elgato HD60 now. And it is pretty nice. One of the other reasons I stopped recording this game is because it's not as popular. So it's like, I was putting so much time and effort into this, and no one was watching it. <laughs> Release our sworn comrades. Excuse me, if you wish to know the truth, swear your allegiance in order. Only then can you cast away your shackles of sin. To the first, you were always foolish. So, oh, is this a hint? To the first you were always foolish, so you will have no grave. To the second you shall bear your visage upon your back. To the third you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. To the fourth you shall lose your head. That does not sound good. But we've got some stuffs. You know what? Let me combine that. <gasps> oh, that creeped me out for a moment. I thought the whole screen just faded to red. To red. But it's not. It's It's just... Yeah. Uh, let's see, do I want fire bombs or exploding? <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, even if a series is not doing as well, but I'm enjoying the game, I will still play it. I mean, I I just don't want to stop a series randomly. It's just that this series wasn't doing well, and it was a pain to record, and I was getting absolutely nothing out of it. So it's like, why even play it? But now. Things are better. Things are much better. I can actually see if I stop recording now versus that old HD PBR crap. I mean, it still works on other games. It's just this game is so stupid. Wait. Are you sure there wasn't a puzzle down there? I feel as though there was. I feel like I just walked right past it. Oh, God. You know what? Let me go back really quick. <laughs> if there's nothing down there, then I'll just come back to this door. You won't... I'll just transition to it. You won't have to see me run all the way through that. A eulogy for my brethren. We followed the Master Alex to the island of Zib... What? <laughs> Zibidich? Zibidich... Oh. Anyway, which she has codenamed Number 46, our efforts have brought prosperity to the island, but more than that, we have come to help the Master achieve her goal of rebirth. You have performed splendidly in your tasks, even in your final task to provide the Master with valuable data at the cost of your own lives. We are bonded in our servitude to the Master. I consider you my colleagues and my friends. I will help the Master to finish the work which we have all started. I promise that your sacrifice will, sacrifices will not be in vain. May you rest in peace. Now, I was reading over that note again, over here. It talks about different rows. Obviously. 
four rows, right? But I went back and counted. There are five rows. To the first, you were always foolish, so you will have no grave. So, first row. I'm assuming looking for... I assume I'd look for something with no grave, which is right here. Okay. Second row. To the second, you shall bear your visage upon your back. So it probably has the symbol on the back of the headstone instead of the front. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. Uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> okay, second row, visage on your back. Nothing. Visage on your back. Uh... Does this not count as the second row? Is this the second row? I mean, because according to standard math, this would be th row number three, so, uh, yeah. Did I just... Yeah, I deactivated that one. <laughs> second row, visage on your back. Does that mean directly in front of this one because the visage is on the back? That does not mean it. <laughs> Well, instead of making you all sit through this, I will come back when either I go back to that door after giving up, or figure this out. So I will be right back. Okay, so, I got it, I got it, I got it. Remember, first one, no grave, which is right there. Second one, you're not supposed to go in order, you're just supposed to look for it and push them in order. Second one, visage on your back, that one is backwards third one it said you shall um um neighbor of three in one row back neighbor of four in one row back four is talking about one with no head which is right there and this says neighbor of three so you go over one two three and then back one row and it's this one because this is the fourth one right here with no head and i open something what did I open? Uh... No? I heard something open, but I don't know what it is. Come on! <laughs> There's gotta be like rare parts or something. What if I... Nope, I can't do anything. Cause I already figured it out. But yeah, I apologize. This whole part is basically down here. <laughs> uh... Woman don't run up behind me like that. Oh! that MPAF cool 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 oh we got some parts and a reason for Moira to be useful nice okay do I want to put down the magnum though uh what do I have We've got the MPAF which is similar to that. Honestly, I'm gonna keep my magnum for now. But I just pick it up so that it will transfer to my box when I can. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. I had a feeling maybe it was that door, but when I was standing way in the back, I couldn't actually see that that door was open, so I was confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But literally, the whole point of that was just free stuff. It's not bad at all. I'll take it. Now this... looks like an area I may have to fight a few people in. Or maybe I'm just being paranoid. I don't know. I don't like giant areas. 
Hello? You okay? Y you okay? There's a gun over there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> did all that! That's not right! Okay, let's go, uh, let's combine that with that. Thank you, and I will pass one to her. I prefer her to have more of my healing. Steward, the samples have arrived from Africa. The infection rate is extraordinarily high. It has a lot of potential. It sh I should have expected nothing less from a fellow Wesker. Gross. Get this to the, ah, get this to the research chief and have the staff start working on it immediately. It's only a matter of time before... T-Phobos is completed. I have everything I need for the final stage of my plan. Good for you. I don't care. Hey, man. How you doing? Are you gonna fall? Thank you. <laughs> uh... No. The M14 or the... Let's see. Oh, I've had this one before! What is that? Oh, gosh. Master Alex, it has truly been an honor and a blessing to have served under you these past few de decades. I consider myself lucky to have been witness to your scientific genius and your vision of the future. The world does not need order, and I believe it is you, and only you who is capable of accomplish accomplishing this feat. I, as well as the other researchers, are bonded together in this belief to ensure your survival. We work tirelessly to complete their transfer procedure. The vessel we have selected is without fault. I have every confidence that the procedure will go flawlessly to... <sighs> to come this far, we've had to make countless sacrifices. My faith in your vision is resolute, so I prepare myself to shoulder the mental and emotional burdens of the sins that I will be committing. But I do believe that before your plan can succeed, we must first atone for our sins. So I've taken the necessary steps for atonement. The remaining researchers have all been dealt with, and I, too, shall soon follow. This will also help you to perform the procedure without any distractions on behalf of those who have served faithfully by our side. We are grateful for the opportunity to help accomplish your ambitions internally, your loyal servant, Stuart. My mouth. <laughs> Okay, so that was almost pointless up there. I have a feeling they want me to use that shotgun, though. But I prefer the one I have. I see a thing. Uh, can I move these? Crane game? Crane game? Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Are we going to see a single enemy this whole part? I wonder. I sincerely wonder. Ooh, stuff! I keep thinking I can slide into those. But that is not the type of game. Checked everything. Checked everything. We got stairs. We got stairs. Personally, I'd rather take the outside stairs. You can see the room better. <laughs> I mean... Who? He's not my boyfriend. All right. Shit. Look, there's something I gotta tell you. I don't want to hear it. Something when Neil was with us. His bracelet. I mean, the living dead were coming at us from all directions. He must have been scared. No, no, no. There's no way. Got it? End of discussion. Okay, Claire's touchy about something. Or is she trying to say that Neil is working with Wesker? I feel like this is going to be a boss area and they're just giving me a ton of crap for a boss. Can I go with that? I think I can, but I don't want to I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to look around a little bit more first. Just a wee bit more. What is that? Okay, we're good. Let's go. Move. God dang it. <laughs> the least action we've seen so far. Ooh, what's that? Bullietas. More. Uh-uh. Oh, I thought there was a doorway. Okay. Um. She can have those. 
and I need this. I've got a lot of stuff. Capacity level 2. Burst 1. Charge shot 1. Hmm. Why is that blue? Because it's new, duh. Machine pistol, blazing fast, fa <laughs> rapid fire. Hmm. Good capacity, not quite as powerful. Yeah, that's why I took this one. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I do use my handgun. We've got the damage capacity and firing rates. Charge shot. Hold down the trigger to increase firepower. Hmm. I don't think that would work very well with firing rate up. That seems very counteractive. Two bullets at once. Hmm. I wonder if I should put that on here. You know, capacity up on this, because you definitely need it. Expand the blast area. Okay, firing rate. Uh, that's good. Magnum. I will put charge shot on the magnum for sure. Damage, quick load, give you some capacity. Burst goes on. Not this. <laughs> Shoot. Not this. You know what? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We're good for now. My fellow visionaries, the time has finally come. Everything has gone as I said it would. All that remains is for her to hold up her end of the bargain, and that I can finish what we started seven years ago. Just one little sample is all I need to change the world, but the world is already changing and not in a good way. The latest incident in Africa is just proof. The kind of madness will keep repeating itself until nothing is left but tragedy and despair. The world needs something to take charge and lead it through these dark times. Lansale was right, of course, but when he tried to do and tear Grigia, people, I'm surprised I remembered how to pronounce that word, people call him a villain but he's a hero. He was trying to save us. I understand that, as do you. I'm will... What? I'm will do whatever. Typo. <laughs> I'm will do whatever it takes to realize his vision. He was the only one to see that sacrifices were needed and start something good, and that something good can be built on them, even if it means dealing with the devil herself to do it. The devil's a she? <gasps> the devil wears Prada! They were right! They were right! Uh, why does she hesitate? I mean, I guess I'd hesitate too if I was um, gonna jump down something like that. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take it. Make sure everything is reloaded, except the Magnum, which I probably should have put up because I don't have any ammo for it. Crap. I feel as though I'm missing a map. I came in this way. There's a door up there. There's a guy up there. I'm missing something. Wait, there's a thing! There's a... There's a thing right there. <laughs> a thousand! Holy crap! <laughs> I need that! But, um, I think I'm gonna end up ah, in this part right here until I figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's just lighting. But yeah, I'm gonna end up this part here, figure out where to go, and then pick up next part, probably where I, when I figure it out. But that's been it for this part, and I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye!